guys, what is up? It's, what is up? <laughs> What's up? It's Ben. I am literally, like, one day away from surgery, um, when I record this. I've got my top surgery tomorrow with Mr. Yelland. Um, I've got to be there for 7.15, um, in the morning. My lovely sister Emily is, um, staying with me tonight. She'll be in a few hours and take me, and then she's going to bring me back the next day, bless her, and... Yeah, um, so I thought I'd just do a quick vlog, like, I'm obviously, um, as anyone who's probably had any type of surgery, really, um, not just top surgery, I, I'm bricking it a little bit, I'm, you know, um, I am a kind of a glass half empty guy, so there's part of me that's like, <laughs> you know, what if, what if, what if, and it's going to be pinging going on, because I did put a little message on my Facebook just now, um, but yeah, um, so, but I am, I'm I'm super excited and yeah I'm super nervous and just all the emotions but I just you know finally it'll be this time tomorrow there'll be I I should be either out or in the, uh, the op um because it's such an early sign in you know hopefully I'll get should get a ten o'clock eleven o'clock Mr uh, Mr Yellen said sort of time uh, depending on how busy in any previous ops he's done um in that day so yeah um so i've kind of i've got like all my bits together um sort of packed and i've got my uh my pack here i've left it out because i don't know if anybody wants a little read um and i think i've got pretty much everything i need you can only like do so much know what i mean like um uh, yeah, so there's, it's more about comfort for when you come out, you know, for when you're out, and obviously I'm going to be a bit, um, I'm not going to be able to manoeuvre a lot for a few days, so, and I'm only going to be able to wear shirts for a, a while, because I'm not going to be able to put, you know, lift my arms up, because, um, so yeah, I've, I haven't packed my bag yet, but I've got everything ready, I don't know if you can see it there, there we go, I've sort of put it up there. So I've got me um got my medication in a clear plastic bag as they want. I've got some like uh, uh wipes and uh, some rub on deodorant and just clean you know clean stuff. Ah, uh, tooth toothbrush and toothpaste. That's one thing I've got to remember. Um and um I've got the recovery binder, the little um uh, clean cloth they give you. Yeah, my going home clothes um and. I will be wearing a different t-shirt, uh, other clothes, because I've had a bath this morning, um, because obviously you want to be clean and, um, clean in that, so I've had a bath this morning, um, and tonight I will have a shower, and then I've got, again, um, I've got my clothes to wear to there, which will be clean, um, I'm going to wear just jeans and a t-shirt just to go in there in the day, and then once, obviously, I'll be in the gown, the, the, the fancy gown most of the time, so, once I'm in that, I will put my, um, go in their clothes in a bag, They're, you know, that's fine. There's a cheese log just going casually across my, uh, carpet, that's fine, I'm going to let him crack on. Um, sorry, it's just a little random, um, observation. No, you're not going in my bag, I don't think the doctors would appreciate that. Um, oh, I'm going to have to fucking deal with this cheese log now, hang on. Okay, All right, sorry about that guys, I had to deal with the cheese log. I've put him outside. Um, yeah, he's still going. Good for him. That's living, well not living, but having vegans for my sister and sister-in-law. Two years ago, I would have just squashed that bugger. <laughs> um, right, well, anyway, I've, I've detoured. Um... So, yeah, so I've I've got clean clothes, yeah, got my clothes to wear there, and then my clothes to wear back. Um, obviously, pack a pillow in Emily's car tomorrow. Um, so I've got everything together. I'm going to take, because I probably won't like the food there but I, when I'm allowed to eat after the op. So I've got, like, just some chocolate bars and stuff. Because, obviously, the worry, um, the one, the sort of thing I'm, makes me worry a little bit more is because I do have MPHD, which is like a... Uh, I have to take a lot of um, hydrocortisone, uh, which is like, part of my pituitary gland is missing, so, like, you know, say I don't, like in normal life, if I don't eat 
you know, for like a day, I'll get really shaky and and sometimes my levels can, it's a, like, if I have to explain it to someone, I always say it's a bit like, um, uh, like diabetes, I, I sort of explain it more like that, but like, um, yeah, like your levels go down and I get quite shaky and, so that's sort of obviously worrying. I know my mum's worried about it. She's worried sick. But um, but yeah, it's you know the doctor. I've been to an endo endocrinologist en that one, and and obviously I've spoken to Mister Yellen and, do and doctors before. It you know I've spoken to at least four different doctors, and they've all sort of like you know there's things you can do. That, you know there's lots of I've got uh, you know sheets uh, of information. So I'm going to be on like a hydrocortisone drip as well, which is cool. Um, so it's all prepared for, it's all fine, and you don't really, I don't see it losing a lot of blood anyway, like it's, just, you know, um, so, yeah, so literally I'm sort of, it's just waiting now, and I know I'm not going to sleep tonight, so I'm going to crash on here tonight, and, um, yeah, just watch TV until I sort of doze, so we've got to get out pretty early to get to Brighton for quarter past seven, um, so we're going to have to get up about five-ish, I think, around five. <coughs> I don't know if Em's drove there before, I have to check with them. But, um, yeah, so anyway, so we're all, we're all prepared for that. Um, I can't eat um, anything prior to six hours, six hours prior to the op. Um, so that's fine. And I can't drink anything, even water, two hours before. But I can't drink anything but water, I think it's like six hours before. So, yeah, so I'll pretty much, after 6 o'clock-ish, I'll only just drink water, you know, just to be on the safe side. And then, so I have to take my tablets, my morning tablets are like 5 when I get up. Because um, I'd rather just take them and not have taken them, and at least had some hydrocortisone in me. Um, yeah, so I'm enjoying a nice, my old Lucasade <laughs> um, for now. Um... Just gonna be sleepy probably for the for the first day or so. So as long as I've got, I've got I did an ads to shop. I've got a fridge, fridge like and you know food all about um, some canned food, some microwave pizzas and stuff. Easy, easy to do, you know. Um, so obviously that's all the info. Um, as far as like yeah, like I don't know, like yeah, I'm I'm so excited that I sort of. You know, I, I see sometimes when guys vlog when they're having top surgery the next day, they're quite emotional and they're quite... Because obviously I'm losing this big part of the bo my body that's been, um, you know, with me. You know, I'm losing a, a sort of a... a I want to, like, not... It's a part of my... See, it's not a part of me, it's part of my body and it's part, obviously... But because I'm just so, like, just want them gone now and I just... Obviously, I have to wear a binder, a recovery binder, for a few weeks after, but that's that's to be expected, and that's fine, and I'll be a happy wearing binder, because it'll be like, knowing that that's it, you know, and then after that, that's it, no binders, and it's just, you know, and anyone that knows that, like, when you don't wear a binder, um, you feel crap, and it's, but it'll just be nice, just to, like, yeah, not have to worry about what t-shirt I can wear. Like, I can wear white t-shirts again because my binder won't show underneath. Just, just simple things like that, you know. Um, I can go swimming again and just all the things I can do. I'm just so excited for them. And, yeah, like I say, this, the, the glass half empty kind of part of me um, is, um, you know, obviously worries and like ah oh, what if I don't wake up what if this what if that but that's do you know what I mean people have operations um thousands of times a day and you know that's very scarce very rare and <clears throat> and I'm sure it's going to be fine and it's just my head going la 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 but um yeah so that's kind of my ramblings the day before like I say they are probably maybe a bit more rambling than my usual ramblings um which well, the ramblings, but maybe they're a bit more, um, <laughs> yeah, so my next vlog I will do will be, um, a sort of, I, I don't, you know, I don't know how many, how long it'll be, so I'll be able to get a proper vlog out, but I'm going to try and, um, keep tabs on what I'm, you know, on my vlogs and, um, 
you know, Emily saying, oh, I'm going to, I'm going to record you when you wake up from the anaesthesia just because I'm going to talk absolute nonsense. No ramblings. Um, so yeah, next time I see you, next time I vlog and you guys see me, I'll, you know, be all sort of, um, but I'll be happy. Um, so yeah, hope everyone else is well and I hope you had a good, um, Christmas and New Year's. I've, I, I will probably attach this to a little vlog I did. Um, a few days ago and do it like a two-parter sort of thing um, but I just wanted to get out of vlog you know the day before sort of just like yeah um, so yeah all right guys thank you very much um, for just your any lovely messages anyone's posted before now um, and you know for anyone that does I know I don't vlog a lot and I don't uh, I'm not the most good with words, <laughs> see, um, yeah, I try and just get out what I can, at least something's out there, um, and, yeah, <laughs> alright guys, much love, take care, and I will speak to you soon, alright guys, see ya, bye, yo guys, what is up, happy new year, and hope you had a good Christmas, and all that sort of stuff, um, I haven't vlogged in a while, um, I think the last vlog I updated you on was uh, just before I had my pre-op assessment, which I'll uh, go into in a minute. Um, I've been like really ill over Christmas, like the last two weeks. I've I'm still kind of croaky now and got a bit of a cough, but it's going thankfully. And my op is next Tuesday, which is like five days away from when I'm recording this. <laughs> So yeah, I went for my pre-op on the 21st of December, so yeah, everything kind of just came at once, it was like a big like crash of Christmas and all this fun stuff, and and I was ill for all of it, so and I blame Brighton for that, literally I was fine, everyone's sneezing and coughing and all sorts of nasty stuff on the train, and I'm like, I'm gonna get a fucking cold now, aren't I? And sure enough, I got a fucking cold and I was ill. Um, during Christmas, but like I said to people, I'd rather be ill now than, you know, in, in next week's time, so it's literally, it's on its way out, it won't be a problem for next week, so that's all good. So, yeah, um, so I'll start with the pre-op um, assessment, which I had on the 21st, um, so I went for the first time to Nuffield Hospital in Brighton, really lovely, it doesn't even look like a hospital, it looks like a sort of, uh, I don't know, like somewhere you go, like a job centre or something, like, oh, I don't know, like a, it just looks really friendly and kind of welcoming, and I don't know why I compared that to a job centre, um, yeah, just really welcoming, really nice, really clean, um, which obviously you would expect in a hospital, um, and everyone there is super nice, super helpful, um, so I first, it, it comes in two parts, um, um, yeah, it comes in two parts, you see sort of a, a I think it's a nurse, um, and um, they do all the swabs and um, measurements, height, weight, blood, um, what's it called where they pump it, blood check, um, and a blood test. Um, uh, yeah, so the swabs up your nose, um, under your armpit, and whoosh, you do that yourself, um, which I was thankful for. Um, so yeah, that was, that was fine, that was dandy, um, uh, did my bloods, uh, blood tests, which I actually didn't know was happening, I don't care, needles don't bother me, and I, I have loads of blood tests, but that was like a nice surprise, oh, I get a needle too, you oh. Good, good. <laughs> um, and what's the one where they put the thing on your arm? You go, Ch -ch blood pressure, I think that one is. When she first did it, because I was so excited and so, like, ah! my, my, it was quite high, so she was like, right, we'll do it again at the end, and we'll just check, and it was fine at the end, so pre sort of nerves. Um, so I did that first. I, I arrived really early, because I had, I had a nine o'clock appointment, and I'm not too familiar with Brighton, um, especially not further out, um, I've been a few times, but I wouldn't, I don't know my way around very well, so I had to get a taxi there, because the buses weren't running, blah, 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 uh, before nine o'clock to there, and, um, 
so yeah, I ended up arriving, yeah, like an hour early, but they were really cool, um, the nurse saw me pretty much after 15 minutes of waiting, and <clears throat> and then it wasn't long till I saw Mr. Yelland, um, yeah, Mr. Yelland, he's a legend, that's all I can say, really, like, the guy is so nice and friendly, like, yeah, and, it, you know, he mentioned, because I take quite a lot of medication, he said, that's not a problem, we've got, he's spoken to, uh, my doctor, my end, end, endo doctor, I'll just say endo doctor, um, so they, you know, he's aware that I'll need more hydrocortisone on a drip, and that's fine, he hasn't got a problem with that, um, yeah, so there's no concern, so he was like, right, I've tried to milk this as long as I can, let's get this over with, so you go behind a curtain, and yeah, you obviously have to take your top off, he has to see what he's operating on, um, he just takes a couple of pictures, and yeah, he's really, he's professional about it, he's really cool, um, yeah, just really nice, and it, it makes you feel really comfortable, and obviously, that part, I hadn't even thought of until it happened, I was like, oh shit, he's gonna have to see, and he, like, I, 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 yeah, I, in my head, I knew it would happen, but when it happened, I was like, oh yeah, that's gonna happen, hasn't it, and it was kind of like, it was like, yeah, I was like, okay, but yeah, it was literally two seconds, it was no problem. It's fine, you know, um, yeah, and, and that's it, and then he's like, right, I'll see you on the 9th, um, yeah, and it was £15 for a couple of, um, after surgery binders, uh, which I'll have to wear for, like, um, I think he said, like, a month, four weeks to six weeks, depending, um, and then after the operation, I'll go back in, like, a few days, like, a week or something, ten days, <clears throat> and he just checks everything, um, you know, all that sort of stuff, does, undoes, I think he changes the dressing, I believe he said, or, or maybe he takes the dressing off, I can't remember, but basically, yeah, for like four weeks, four, six weeks, I'm just, I'm um, pretty much only going to be able to like, wear shirts, I'm not going to be able to like, pull t-shirts over my head, so I've dug out all my shirts, I've, I've got all that ready, um, but yeah, I'm going to be, not immobile, but, you know, I'm just going to have to take it easy for a few weeks. Ah, oh, it's a hard life. <laughs> All right then, guys. Well, I will, um, I'll leave it there, and I will speak to you again soon. All right, peace out, guys. Take it easy.